Hey guys, and welcome to Coptic Studios. Roll the intro. Today's episode, the Holy Family's trip to Egypt. Video one in our short series documenting the history of the Coptic Church. The journey of the Holy Family to Egypt is one recounted in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 2. However, the full details of the journey, where they travelled and what cities they actually visited, was not documented in the Bible. And we only know this from a vision. St. Mary herself appeared to St. Theophilus, the 23rd Pope of Egypt, and told him everything that happened, where they visited and the full details of the trip. I think it's worth mentioning before we start that the Holy Family visited many cities on their trip and we won't be covering every city in this video, we'll just be covering the main cities that you need to know. So we've got a quick sketch here, let's get right into it. So the first main city they visited was Rafah, then El Arish and then Tel El Basta. They then made their way to Samanod and Sakha and then they travelled to Berrei Chehit, now known as Wedil Natrun where there are actually a number of monasteries located. So you have Dir el Ambabshoy, Dir el Barramos, Dir el Surian, Dir Abu Ma'ar. Eventually they reached Babylon in old Egypt, where the Holy Family stayed. And a church was built here to honor that place. This is Kenisit Abu Serga, or St. Sergius and Bechos Church. So the crypt that the church was actually built on um, it was, was 10 meters deep and that's where the Holy Family stayed. They rested in that crypt. Unfortunately, that was flooded um, before the construction of the Aswan Dam. They then traveled to Ma'adi, where they took a boat down the Nile, all the way to Bahnessa, and then Samalot, and then Gabal Tir, and Mir, which was actually the capital of Egypt during the sixth dynasty. Finally, the Holy Family passed by Qasqam Mountain, which is located in the governorate of Asyut. Um, it's here where the Holy Family stayed the longest period of time. And it's also here where an angel appeared to St. Joseph and the whole family, telling them to flee back to the Holy Land. And this fulfilled the prophecy in Isaiah 19.19. In that day, there will be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. Guess what the altar is? The Maharak Monastery. It's located right in the middle of Egypt. Geographically, it's located like right in the center of Egypt. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe to this new channel and share it with as many people as you can. I'll leave a link in the description to all the resources that we used and a translation of the vision of Saint Theophilus. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you very soon.